Hello everyone, it is Jane and Five Day, and welcome to another Black Ops 2 video in the background. And you are seeing Capture the Flag on Turbine. Now, today we're going to talk about something similar to what I talked in the first. But I'm just in that video, I was just telling you what's going to come out. In this video, I'm going to tell you what is there to wait for. What is worth waiting for? Maybe three months, five months, six months, a whole year to wait for in technology. And so yeah, I'm just gonna tell you a bunch of stuff that I think that will come out at the time, and some stuff that will definitely, most likely, come out at the time. So I guess it's safe to say we can start start off in February. Now in February, you know you might not think there's a lot, but uh, if you know Samsung, they should release their Samsung Galaxy S4 there, and uh. I talked about it in the first video of Black Ops 2, but I'm going to talk about it here more. Uh, so right now, I think it, if it's a 4.0-inch screen and the Note is a 5.0-inch screen, I think the Galaxy will go to a 4.5-inch screen to go in between those two and to create a half-and-half -half, um, little thing for that just because the Note is for more business and the S is for more um, personal type but uh, it'd be interesting to see what a half of them would do together and so yeah of course it would add more space for processor and all that kind of stuff so that's the benefit of actually a bigger screen phone also uh, away from the price because the price is always bigger uh, but uh, you get more space, so the processor can be a little bit more wider. That means a little bit more gigahertz, a little maybe a quad core on your phone. So that's why those have quad cores instead of like a 3.0 inch screen, and that's why they don't have the quad cores, dual cores, and you don't see much uh, tri cores really. But uh, you know. Uh, it just wouldn't make sense because you could fit a quad core pretty easily with a if you can fit a tri core processor. But moving away from all that processor and hardware stuff, we'll be moving into June. Now, June. Apple. It's probably what you guys think if you guys know what I'm talking about. We are going to be at the Worldwide Developers Place, and that's where they release their new MacBooks, MacBook Airs, MacBook Pro, all their MacBooks, and uh, not their desktops, I'll be later in the year, but uh, also their iPhones and a bunch of other stuff, such as, uh, you know, like iPods maybe, maybe they can update the iPod Classic, it'd be something really cool to see, but uh, Probably not. Or probably we'll see actually, I gotta be honest with you. Uh but yeah. And also the shuffle. Now let's talk about the iPhone. This is what I'm really, really interested in too. And also the new Max. But uh iPhone first. Now this will be a cheaper iPhone five. The iPhone it will be the iPhone five S as I think. It will be the same it will be the same size everything. It'll just be a lower cost, lower iPhone basically. So let's just say I do not know the specific specs, but let's just say the iPhone has a two gigabyte, two gigabytes of RAM. It might go down to a 1.5 or one gigabytes of RAM, one gigabyte of RAM. It could go down there. Also, on processor, it could be a quad core. It might go down to a tri core or a dual core. So, or a one core. I mean, no matter how cheap you would like it. I mean. Personalized, maybe it's just something out there really nice by Apple, but colored iPhones like the iPods now, you know, they're going more personalized. Personalized, so uh, I'm not sure, but uh, you know, they're this is gonna be way out there, I'm gonna put it out there, anyways. Uh, AMD now, uh, what I just watched this one video about some Apple and stuff, but uh, it said like, that it was about like Steve Jobs, like 
with Intel and how they said no and all that. But then, like, they came out with the new i5s. And then, you know, they were slightly better than AMDs. But he really wanted his, uh, he wanted AMD. That's what they said. And that's what he kind of wanted to go with because the cheaper lineup and stuff. But, um, so he went with Intel because they're slightly more powerful, the i5s. But now, you know, it's all over the place because they have their 8 cores and stuff. But of course, they will not fit in laptops. But yeah. So, you know, you could definitely see. Well, definitely. Definitely is a strong word for that. But, uh, you could maybe see some AMD. I know it's. It's out there. I mean, like personalization I think that's what they're going into because that's what everyone wants and that you know if they want to get with personalization they kind of have to make a big they have to make some big moves so that's why I think that but I'll also move it into pressers once again in uh, desktops and laptops Intel will release be releasing their new pressers in June or March and those will be the Hasbro processors or the uh... The has something we their flag. but uh... so those will be slimmer and also uh... i heard four times as strong a gpu as the ones right now so that'll be very very interesting to see how they can innovate them into the apple products with a another uh... graphics card of course in with the fifteen and seventeen inches or they even have the 17 inches at this point. But no, they don't even have the 17 inches anymore. Forgot. So in the 15 inches with Retina and not Retina. So yeah, you know, there's some big leaps there. But uh, you know, they're going, they're going to have to make it. And then as soon as we go in 2014, we'll see CES, CES 2014. That's where we'll see a lot of new stuff. But uh, also guys, keep an eye with Razer 2014 that will that should be a big year for them that's why I think they'll release their switchblade now the switchblade is a very very small atom uh, operated little computer and uh, so it's just a concept right now they're just thinking about it but uh, 2014 will be the year that you do see it or not I think it's small it the whole keyboard's LED lights, so you can switch it within game. Like in Minecraft, it would be like W A S D, and then like space would be like jump. It would say jump on there, and then it would say like I don't. You could personalize it, but yeah, really cool. That's what I want to leave off on. If you guys have any questions about that, then definitely go ask. Please ask, and I could probably tell you. But that's really all for this video, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. I mean, you do subscribe, you're getting tech daily and also black ops 2 get daily but not commentaries daily i'm sorry i just don't have time for that with school and all that but in summer you probably get some commentaries daily and yeah so hope you guys like the gameplay also tell me how i'm doing with the gameplay i'm trying to get more maps than hijacked i got nuketown the other day and turbine today and tomorrow i th think i have tomorrow you guys are going to get some drone so that's all. I thank you guys so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. We have the enemy flag. Care package inbound. UAV inbound. Ready for deployment. 